So we did use a two simple components. We used the branches. And what we could do if we want to create next one. So for example, if I want to create more branches, what we can do, we can make a little bit simple. We can copy and control C, control V and paste. We can take this and connect. And there you go. We can duplicate branches easy in this way. And you can see because it's have it we copy, we copy all properties before and we put here. Well, if I need to create another one, I can also just copy paste here and now I can connect another ones and create more and I can create so on more and more of them. But what I find out sometimes maybe, you know, it's take you don't want to do duplicate because then you need to go through all the branches and if they look same, you need to do over and over again. Instead, we can use it to utilize some of the logic and mechanics built inside the plan factor to simplify this. And simplify, I mean by adding loop. So like right here, we have it our loop and we'll go create a repeat. So what the repeat does, if we connect, it says repeating this and let's connect here. Well, nothing happened yet because we said repeat, repeat once. Well, let's go says repeat twice. Still nothing happened because the reason is that this branch does not know what else because we can actually create not just one branch. We can create also add leaves. We can add multiple components and we can loop through all of this set of the components, not just one. Well, okay, so now we need it and our loop. It's termination of the loop. So we'll go right click, go to the loop and we'll select the next. So now let's go ahead and connect our next to children. And look, now we have it, all of these branches created, which is kind of very easy and nice way to do this. Well, our branches are not always nice because if we look, <laughs> we, I forgot, I think rotate them. Yep. They're all in the same plane. Well, it's easy to fix this because now if we're going to just to one, our branch, we can modify their property and that will affect everything. For example, if we're going to the link and we'll say instead five, I want four, this will affect all of them. And same on the branches. If we're going to our repeat, notice now it is connected kind of repeat, not to the branch before and inside here. We can also go in and modify on roll and coil. It should affect all of them. So let's go ahead and set same 90 here, 180, and we'll just go set 30 and we'll set 110. You can modify how you want it. But look, when we're done, see, now they're going in all different weird directions as we need it. And if you think they're a little bit longer inside the branches, Remember, we'll look on this link. Yes, to the parent. Let's see what's happening if we're going like this. Notice they are shrinking down so we can control link as they extend it. Well, I'm going to put it back here to this value and we'll look next inside the branches. We also can work a little bit more on trapezium. So if we increasing or dropping them down, notice how they work very beautifully. Okay, let's go create 0 0.3 on the trapezium, 0 0.2. I think this is work very good. Again, we don't creating any specific plant. What are we doing here? It is creating the plant and base it on your creativity. You can decide what plant you want it. You can open image of existing plant and try the copy, copy how the link work tropic how trapezium work or how twisted they are where's locations of the branches up or bottom so this is up to you when you create it this way well, let's go on our branch and you know what i want to modify this color so let's just change a little bit here and also repeat let's change our repeat to the branches and i'll just call it branches here so just a little bit easy you know for the connections inside our branch that we have a bunch of other branches connect there Okay, and our main branch here, or branch that is seated all other branches, we can work a little bit more. For example, let's go on influence and maybe increase to 0 0.3 influence 
and 0.1 on the randomization. So now, because it's a little bit more far away, you can see how they work. We frequency one, maybe too much. I'm putting 0 0.5, just a little bit less frequency, a little bit smoother. And look, we have a very nice, beautiful tree, very interesting tree. Uh, let's go play a little bit more with this by clicking randomization button and just preview what type of variations we can have here with our plant. There you go. Well, I think we did a very good job for these portions by creating this loop and creating branch, a lot of branches. Next step, we're going to add some leaves to our end branches. Well, before we do this, one step I will recommend you to do, and it's save your work. So as we're working with this project, it's very nice to save in different steps. So you can always go back and just stop there. Or if something happened, you'll have it your save point. Well, let's go ahead and start work on our leaves in our next video.